Welcome to Keen to Bake. Today we're going to make a cake. It's going to be like a Christmas cake, but it's called Christmas Pudding Cake. And all the ingredients you see are all good top quality ingredients. If you don't use top quality ingredients, you don't get a nice cake. That's Terry Gold. There's all the good brands here. Captain Morgan's. And we're going through the process, we tell you exactly what we're using. They're good candy peel. So everything we get, everything we use is good quality. Now I'm going to put Captain Morgan's in on top of the fruit. This is the fruit that I'm going to soak overnight. So if we put in Captain Morgan's on top of that and soak it for 24 hours, it does seem like a lot of Captain Morgan's, but it does evaporate during, during cooking. We're going to use a teaspoon of the spices into the soak overnight. That's ginger. This is a ground mixed spice. Cinnamon. And nutmeg. So leave that for 24 hours soaking. Give it a stir around and leave it soaking for 24 hours. Now this is the fruit after 24 hours of soaking. You can see it's nice and moist. Everything is soaked up. All the spices are soaked up. I added cherries also. Um, it's an option if you don't like cherries, don't put them in. There's exactly two pounds of fruit in this. I forgot to tell you earlier on. So two pounds of fruit. Um, having said that, two pounds of fruit is equivalent to 900 grams. So approximately 900 grams of fruit has gone into this. I'm gonna add this into this sauce when the saucepan's preheat. I'm gonna put the butter into the saucepan, which I cut into cubes. And I've used muscovada sugar. It also goes into the saucepan. And you leave them simmer and you get it to a simmering point and simmer for about approximately 15 minutes. So I'm gonna put that into the saucepan. The saucepan's already heating. And then I'm gonna put my butter into the saucepan. Now the butter's gonna hit that other side of the saucepan so you'll see it melting straight away. Wow, smell that. And that's the most of added sugar. It also goes in and top. Give it a stir around. And we're gonna simmer that for approximately 15 minutes. Now, as soon as everything's melted in the saucepan, then you count your 15 minutes for simmering. I don't want it too high. Now, as you can see, it's melted. Everything has just gone down to a nice paste. I'm gonna leave this simmer now for 15 minutes. To that, I'm gonna add 18 fluid ounces of water. And I'm gonna get that simmer. It's actually gonna simmer from now. So 15 minutes from now, let it simmer gently there. So the ingredients already gone in there is 240 grams of sugar, 240 grams of butter, and 900 grams of fruit. And um, this is a double mix, so it's actually a large tin. I'm making a large cake. The, this cake will actually turn out exactly why we call it Christmas pudding cake. It's gonna turn out like a Christmas pudding. The only difference is you are not gonna have to wait enough several weeks for that pudding to mature. Um, we'll make pudding later on uh, in, the, in the show, but this one is actually gonna be like an instant Christmas pudding. As, now, as for now, I'm gonna leave it soaking, simmering for 15 minutes. Let's go. Now that's the fruit, that's the fruit. The fruit is cooled and it's like a toffee mixture. It's well cooled, so now I can put that into the rest of the ingredients. All the ingredients I'm using, you'll get the recipe at the end. So just look at the end of it and you'll see all the recipes exactly measured out for what, I want, what they're made for. This is a double cake I'm making, so I'm putting it into a large bowl. I had to use an extra large bowl because it's double the amount. In. Now, as you can see, that's the fruit. A nice rich mix. I'm going to put the flour in on top of that. I'm going to put almonds in it, bread soda, and I'm going to put walnuts. Now, there's 510 grams of sieve flour in this, so I'm going to add that in. 510 grams. There's a tablespoon of bread soda. I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna put in walnuts. Walnuts are nice in it. And I'm gonna put in almonds. There's about a handful of walnuts and the same in the bottle. Whatever, if you like almonds, put in lots of them. There's about a handful. 
full of almonds in that one as well. Give it a good mix around. You have to get a real good mix. And keep that going. Now that's the mix. Nice toffee type texture. Now the eggs go in on that because that has started to cool. You put the four eggs in on top of that. And again, you give it another good mix around. And make sure you get it well mixed in. It smells divine. Now we're ready to put it into the oven. We're going to put it into the baking tin. I'm using a two pound baking tin. So it's a good large tin. That mix is perfect for it. I'm going to show you a trick. I have two baking tins. They're both the same. When you put your bacon, you have to line the tin with paper. And when you put the paper into the tin, use the other tin as a mold. Perfect job. And that gives it the perfect shape without you having to cut it or squeeze it in. That's ready to take the cake. I'm going to pour the cake into that tin. That looks fab. Wow. Really nice. Put that one side. And then I'm going to dip. I'm going to give it a dash of Himalayan salt. And what that does for it is it makes it look like it's a, a sweet caramel twist. You don't have to put the Himalayan salt if you don't want to. And a small sprinkle of unrefined brown sugar. And that's ready to go into the oven. Have the oven preheated to 160 degrees and that's for fan assisted. If it's, you want it a bit hotter and it's a conventional oven, put it up to 108. I'm putting it on the bottom shelf and in the middle of the oven. So that's going in there for 90 minutes. Exactly 90 minutes, you can go a little over if you want to bake it a little more, but 90 minutes should be low to bake it at 160 degrees. Now we're halfway through the baking, so we're going to look in at it. And it looks class. It's a little getting a little bit burnt or a little bit hot, so I'm going to turn the oven down to 150 and that will keep it from burning. So we're exactly halfway through. The nuts that I put on top of the cake are pecan nuts and they're just roasting nicely in there to go a nice shade of brown, but I don't want them to burn either. Now it's ready for coming out. It's very hot. Perfect. And a lovely smell of it. Now the cake's ready to come out of the tin. It's just a matter of lifting it carefully. It looks perfect. A little dusting on top. Now it's time to cut it, to test it out, the proof of the pudding. Perfect. Couldn't be better. And I'm going to serve it with brandy cream, which I'm making now at the moment. I'm 
make a brandy cream. That's your Christmas pudding cake. 